again as he is so are we in this world that's what it does what we possess entire sanctification he can do it he will do it and Christ will be magnified in our lives in Jesus' name. Look at, look at verse 18 there. In verse 18, there is no fear in love. You know, when we're born again, we love everybody, we love friends. But we know that our parents, we love them. They may persecute us. We love them, but we also fear them. We know that after we are saved, our lives are changed. There are people around us, our neighbors. They will see us and say, what's that? You mean you'll not do this again? Do that again? We love them, but we fear them. But we come back to God. We say, Lord, I want to love like Jesus loved. He loved the Pharisees. He knew what they were planning. He knew their conspiracies, but he never feared them. And he knew Herod. He knew Pilate. And then Pilate said, are you this? Are you that? He kept quiet. You don't answer me. Don't you know I have power? to release you and power to crucify you, you couldn't have any power. Why, well, if not for the plan of God, what power could you have? He loved them, but he never feared them. That's what sanctification does. He puts the love, you love your neighbor, you love the sinners, you love the persecutors, you love everyone, but fear is gone out of your heart towards them in Jesus' name. And you know, when you don't fear, you love freely. You love with all your heart. You are not afraid of the consequences. They misinterpret your love, you love them. And they want to test you whether it is real love or not. You keep on loving them. When he sanctifies us, he purifies us, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear because fear has torment. When you fear, you are tormenting yourself. When you fear, you give yourself hypertension. When you fear, you give yourself heart problems. When you fear, your mind is affected and you think wrong and it affects your health. Might even shorten your life. Fear has torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. The Lord will perfect his love in our hearts in Jesus' name. He'll do it for me. Say it aloud, he'll do it for me. What will your life be? What will your progress be? What will your usefulness be if you fear nobody on earth and you just love everybody all the time? You will climb the highest mountain. I'm talking to you. I'm prophesying it your life. You will climb the highest mountain in Jesus' name. Let's come to point number three now. Point number three, the smitten circle of the sick. Here is Christ. And this Christ is the one that succors us, supports us, strengthens us, and sustains us because that's what he came to do. He came to save us from sin and from the consequence of sin. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9, but we'll see Jesus. You will see Jesus. 
at the point of need in your life, you will see Jesus. In all the predicaments that might come or happen, you will see Jesus in Jesus' name. But we'll see Jesus who is made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor that he, by the grace of God, shall taste death for every man look at verse 14 in verse 14 it says for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood he also himself likewise took part of the same that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death that is the devil Say amen there. Amen. I'm going to ask you a question that you know think of in your mind. Is Satan as powerful today as it was in the Old Testament? Answer now. That he might destroy him. Destroy him. That had the power of death. There are people when they pray, they pray as if Satan is still like he was at the Garden of Eden. So mighty, so powerful, so cunning, so crafty, and it's going to bring them down. They pray as if they're living in the days of David when Satan pushed him, propelled him tempted him and made him do something you know? and thousands of people that but you know christ on the cross through his death destroyed him that had the power of death that is the devil many people pray and they think about satan as in the gospels before christ went to the cross He's still bothering them. He's still running after them. He's still holding them down. He's still making them sick. He's still, um, you know, kind of disorganizing, you know, all the plans they have in their lives. They never realize what happened to Satan at the cross of Calvary. That Jesus Christ destroyed him that had the power of death. That is the devil. That is the power of Satan is cancelled in your life. Yeah. When you have headache, don't give the credit to the devil. The devil is giving them headache. No, maybe you didn't sleep enough. Maybe you didn't have enough rest. Maybe you've been going on and on without having rest, and your body is sending signal to you, slow down, rest for some time, relax, and then move on. Don't give all the credit to the devil. Maybe uh, you have constipation. The devil has come again. I'm having runny stomach. Maybe you overeat. Maybe you ate at the wrong time. Maybe you didn't take care what you are eating. Maybe the water you you know you should drink. You did not drink enough water. Don't give the devil credit. Let Satan has no power in your life anymore. You're free. What are you? You are free in Jesus' name. If you are thinking of the devil every time, you'll dream of the devil. Because, you know, every time you're thinking, devil is behind the door, devil is, you know, over there, devil is over there. You know, human beings do some things and then uh, you say that is Satan. It's not Satan, it's them doing that thing. And if you just know it's human being, it's not Satan, you'll have the victory all through your life. You'll be more than a conqueror in Jesus' name. Look at verse 15 there. In verse 15 it says, And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject unto bondage. Now, you are saved, you are a child of God, and you are even sanctified 
and the Lord's presence and power is with you, but you do not know that Satan has been conquered and all your lifetime you are subject to bondage. You cannot think free, you cannot walk free, you cannot live free. And there's Satan behind the door all the time. You hear a particular noise, there's Satan. And you hear another one by the window, it's a bird that is, you know, peeking at the window there. But you say, Satan, you are in bondage all your life. You are free tonight in Jesus' name. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject unto bondage. Look at verse 18. In verse 18, for in that he himself has suffered, being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. He will support you. He will sustain you. It will succor you and it will lift you up. That Red Sea will not drown you in Jesus' name. Three things. Number one, thorough deliverance from the consequences of sin. Number two, triumphant dominion and cure of all sicknesses. Every sickness in your body healed in Jesus' name. Number three, total destruction of the crucibles of Satan. Let's come to number one. Number one, thorough deliverance from the consequence of sin. In Galatians chapter 3, we're reading from verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Make it personal. One, two, three, go. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Be it confirmed in your life in Jesus' name. Be made a curse for us, for it is written, cause said is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Look at verse 14. In verse 14, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we, that I, that I might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith and do the fulfillment, the fulfillment of the promises on your life in Jesus' name. Look at number two. Number two is triumphant dominion and kill of all sicknesses. Anybody having dominion here tonight? Amen. Amen. It is done. Amen. Matthew chapter 8, verse 16. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed, tell me, and healed, tell me. If you are part of this, tell me out aloud. And healed all that was sick. You are healed in Jesus' name. Look at verse 17 there. That it might be fulfilled. Which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet. Saying, himself took. Himself took. Are you there? Himself took, personal, himself took my infirmities and bear my sicknesses. It is done in Jesus' name. Number three now, number three, total destruction of the crucibles of Satan. Crucible, that's where, you know, you put something in, uh, inside that uh, wooden uh, uh, something and then you use the 
top one and you pound it and pound it it's like you know you put that thing in the crucible the devil sometimes you know he has no mercy he doesn't understand compassion or love there's no compassion there's no mercy there's no love there's total wickedness undiluted wickedness and he'll put them in the old covenant he'll put them inside that thing and pound them and pound them in the crucibles until they don't have any strength any power to do anything anymore he cannot touch you like that anymore. All those crucibles of Satan will be totally destroyed out of your life. Health. Health. Strength. Power. Ability. Agility. Skill. And then you walk like the child of a king. You are more than a conqueror in Jesus' name. Look at First John chapter 3 verse 8. First John chapter 3 verse 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. Look at this now. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might say it yourself say it aloud destroy the works of the devil they are destroyed in your brain they are destroyed in your body they are destroyed in your project they are destroyed in your profession they are destroyed on your wife on your husband on your children on your mommy, on your daddy, the works of the devil, they are destroyed. I remember when we were in Taraba some years ago now, there was, you know, somebody, I think 23 years of age, he'll be crawling on the ground, he had a wooden uh, kind of patch, and there were small, small roller, um, rubber, uh, tires under that thing and then he'll be using them to crawl on the ground and then that time I declared to them I said Christ has given us the victory and that has they believed in Jesus Christ all that works of the devil will be destroyed from their lives as we began to pray and we mentioned the name of Jesus that uh, man 23 years of age crawling on the ground like this all of a sudden he stood up and then he began to walk and he raised up all that uh, kind of wooden board and then he demonstrated completely, completely healed. The Lord is going to replicate it in your life. We finished the crusade there. And then the people knew it was the last day of the crusade in Taraba, Jalingo. And so you know, we said bye-bye and all that. They had parked the car outside the office. And they laid three people paralyzed on the ground near the door of uh, the car. And uh, as we came out, the head of security there at that time was challenging the people. Why did you put these people here? What do you mean? You know that uh, this is not right. It's a breach of what I said, hold on. And so I, uh, you know, talked to those three people just suddenly entering the car. I said, you are healed, you are healed, you are healed. And then I entered into the car. And the car drove up quietly and then as we got to the gate I had shouting and then we stopped and I said what's the shouting about they said those three people one got up two got up number three got up you are a partaker in Jesus name Rise up, rise up, and confirm your freedom. Rise up and tell the Lord, it is you are the first partakers, and you are the first beneficiaries of the power of Christ upon our lives, upon your life. It will happen. It will happen. He'll deliver you. 
he will set you free. All your weaknesses, everything is totally removed. You're free. You're free. All your tears are wiped away. All your challenges are taken away. Christ has come. And Christ has taken away our sin as well as our sicknesses. And the power of the devil is broken from every life in Jesus' name. Vitality has come. Strength has come. Tell the Lord it is yours. Tell the Lord it is yours. Tell the Lord it is yours. Freedom. Healing. Deliverance, emancipation, sanctification, everything available for everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I am, I am free. Confirmation in your life in Jesus' name. Raise up those anointed hands. The people that do know their God, they will be strong. You'll be strong. And they will do exploits. You will do exploits in Jesus' name. This crusade coming will not happen behind you. It will touch your life. It will transform your life. It will uplift you out of the dungeon of weakness. You'll be strong in Jesus' name. All those requests you have, all the prayer items you have, the Lord will put a smile on your face. He will answer your prayer. If you have been waiting for miracles, 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 you've never had, your time has now come. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior, to be a healer, to be a deliverer, to be the destroyer of all the works of the devil, to be our sanctifier, and to be the power of God in man. We pray the purpose for which Christ came will be fulfilled in every life here and everywhere tonight in Jesus' name. Cleanse everyone. Purge everyone. Give assurance of your presence, of your peace to everyone's heart in Jesus' name. Purify, sanctify, cleanse, and take away that Adamic nature and that inbred sin in Jesus' name. Any work of the devil in anyone on their body, ear, eyes kidney anywhere in their body lord i pray you heal them set them free free indeed in jesus name the power of god continue to reside in you as you go you go with joy you go with victory you go as a conqueror and you go understanding greater you see that is in you than he that is in the world and the lord perfect everything concerning your life in jesus name lord we thank you because we know it is done for him it is done for her it is done for their children it is done in their profession it is done in the work of your hand it is done and you'll enjoy the blessing the provision the presence of christ in your life throughout your days in jesus name 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray.